We begin tonight with layoffs at Stellantis, adding to tensions with the United Auto Workers Union. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. The company says most of the layoffs at Sterling Heights Assembly are seasonal workers. But more could be on the way across the automaker's footprint. 7 News Detroit reporter Brett Cast shares the voice of a Stellantis worker concerned about what might come next. Well, the notice includes mostly supplemental workers here at the Sterling Heights assembly plant, but also includes more than a dozen full time workers. News that local UAW leaders say took them by surprise. Keep the promise. At a rally held last month outside Sterling Heights assembly plant, Stellantis workers threatened strike action over the delayed reopening of a plant in Belvedere, Illinois. UAW President Sean Fain continued the pressure last week during a Facebook Live. And we are prepared to take strike action to make Stellantis keep the promise. And now, almost a month to the day after that rally, nearly 200 workers from that Sterling Heights plant were laid off. The UAW local writing in a letter to its members today saying, quote, this is another slap in the face to our entire membership. This shows that the company having a heart or any respect is out the window. It's just a business decision for them. One robocall to fire 177 people for no wrongdoing of their own. Our prayers are with those whose lives have just been harshly affected by this decision. It sucks. It really sucks. Stephanie White is a UAW Stellantis employee at a different plant and says she feels for her colleagues laid off. To be able to figure out how you're going to take care of your home and your bills and the things that are normal for us in life, you know, is kind of scary. Stellantis released a statement on the layoff saying in part, quote, Stellantis is in full execution mode focused on both protecting the company from the continued intense external market conditions and at the same time offering customers vehicles they can afford. While that effort continues, the company will be implementing indefinite layoffs of represented employees across its footprint. The working class all across this country is fed up with seeing corporations make out like bandits while our families fall further and further behind. The Fane had said that the Stellantis Council will be meeting this week and a nationwide strike vote could be coming soon. In Sterling Heights, I'm Brett Cast, 7 News, Detroit.